Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get 5 kills in one life, 3 times with the knife in Black Ops 6. But quickly before we do get into today's video guys, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to announce any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, and let me know if you've got any more questions in the comments below, and I will do my very best to answer them for you guys. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to go over is the loadout and then the game mode that I was playing. And for my loadout, this was the exact class I was running. So for my tacticals, I was running smoke grenades. These are very useful to get around the map. If you've got a big open space you're trying to get through throw your smoke grenades use that as cover get to the area that you're trying to get to lethals you can run whatever because you're not going to be using these anyway field upgrades i run scrambler because we can be holding down a certain area so once we've got a scrambler down the enemy aren't going to be able to see that area where you are on their uav we're then running ghost in case your opponents do pop a uav you're not going to ping up on it we've got tracker so we can see if any enemies are running about the area that we are in and then double time as it is going to ask the tactical sprint for longer and then for my wild card i run the tactical expert because it actually allowed me to have an extra smoke grenade which came in very very useful and for the game modes guys i simply jumped into normal nuketown 24 7 it's such a good map for this obviously if you're watching this at the time you don't have nuketown 24 7 but you've got a playlist where you can get into nuketown or stake out or something like the smaller maps it is going to make it much much easier but nuketown in my opinion is the perfect map because it's not too small where it's going to be very chaotic it gives you a chance to outplay your opponents get into certain areas and get away from kills and as you can see on screen right now i done all of mine in one single game of black ops 6 guys in one game of nuketown I went on a 10 kill streak and then I went on a 5 kill streak and this was very very easily done because the knife is super super easy to use in this game obviously it's a one hit kill in core you've got a lot more health in core than you would in hardcore and I just ran about I'd sort of hold down the areas upstairs and in their building so I'd run around I'd get one kill in one area upstairs move into a different area upstairs so my opponents then don't know where I am get another kill move to a different area upstairs get another kill move downstairs maybe get one kill see if someone's outside jump down get them run back into the building because you move so quickly quickly with the knife you can sort of jump around to these different locations chase after a couple of kills if you have to if you're struggling with this and you're trying to chase kills all i can recommend guys is you just seriously slow it down just play a lot lot slower just really slow down the way that you are playing let the players come to you sit down and control a certain area like i said in our top room of newtown is a perfect way of doing this just sit in one corner let someone come through go and knife them move to a different corner let someone else come through go and get them move to a totally different corner let someone else come through get them and really just slow yourself down guys until you get those five kills if you're getting frustrated with it just stay patient i promise you it will happen it will come if you're really really struggling just go into games and tank your kd just go in get one or two kills and just die over and over and over and over again in multiple games this is going to tank your kd but you're going to get slightly easier lobbies which will make this slightly easier to get done because in all honesty that's what i was doing whilst i was running about with a baseball bat because when I was running around with a baseball bat, I was dying a lot using the baseball bat. And then when I came to using the knife, my KD had been tanked from using the baseball bat. So I got really easy lobbies. And as you can see, I was running about just getting 10 kill streaks, 5 kill streaks. And I had this done within the space of one game, guys. So it is very, very easy to get done. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But that's the best loadout and the best game mode, in my opinion, and the best way to play. To get the five kills in one life three times with the knife in Black Ops 6. But hopefully today's video has helped you out, guys. If it has, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel notifications. Turn off your already. I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.